after a win over number eight Ohio State. It was a 1.30 a.m. arrival into New York City. Turnaround Friday morning and the Badgers were back on the ice at Chelsea Pier for practice. Now this is a whole new experience for some of the guys, but the Badgers have plenty of tour guides around New York City, with Tony Granato starting his NHL career with the Rangers, and Corbin McGuire is back home after growing up 35 miles outside the city. I walked around Times Square this morning and I've already gotten three Let's Go Rangers, so that's definitely a good, good, uh, good thing to be around again. I know a lot of the guys, this is their first time in New York, so hopefully we can, uh, I'm going to go show them my dad's office, he's hard at work right now, so we'll walk up that way and uh, check out the sites and uh, go, some, go shopping a little bit and have some fun this afternoon. McGuire has also already laced it up in the garden 10 years ago. Uh, growing up, I played for the, the Junior Rangers and we were coached by Mark Messier and Adam Graves. And uh, who would have thought that 10 years later I'd, I'd be here uh, in a Wisconsin jersey out there. I keep telling the guys this is some, a great thing to be a part of, but you're going to remember it a lot longer when you win. The Badgers and Buckeyes drop the puck at 6 p.m. Central Time at MSG on Saturday night. We'll have you covered with all the highlights and post-game reaction. In New York City with the Badgers, I'm Brandon Spiegel for Wisconsin Athletics.